Hey everyone, good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters Red Storm Rising. This is Fast Lane Departure. We just loaded up a full spread of Tomahawk, Tomahawk, Tomahawk land attack missiles and we are to make way for sea here. Um, we're expecting a satellite overpass at 310, so we're to be submerged at Point Alpha by then. And then we're supposed to proceed through the North Channel to make way for the Atlantic because we're going to get up to the... Okay, well you can't see it from here. We need to go up to the Kola Peninsula and coordinate, or execute a coordinated Tomahawk land attack missile strike. Um, we're trying to get a timed attack to take out uh, the backfire bombers. They normally keep them pretty spread out, so you can't hurt more than one at a time, you know, like in an airstrike. I think that's like a protocol at airfields during war. So, uh, we're, I, th I guess we got intel somewhere that's going to tell us when they're about to sortie for a mission, so... Once they all get on the tarmac, we're going to make sure our Tomahawks get to their airbase at that time so we cripple these backfires because they're really hurting Atlantic shipping right now. So, yeah, we got to make it to this point, Point Alpha, in an hour and ten minutes. we got to be submerged there. What is our ETA to that point? Not soon enough. Okay, we've got to probably go a little faster here. I uh, need to make sure we follow the channel here. I think that's what we're doing right now. So let me go ahead and put some waypoints here because I guess... We need to make sure that we don't run aground or whatever. I don't really know what any of these markings mean or anything. So, uh, yeah. What is that? Yeah. Hour and 46 minutes. Uh, let me double check the briefing here for that hour and... Or 310, whatever. Soviet... Soviet constant satellite scheduled to pass overhead starting at 310 hours local time. is essential they'd be submerged at that time. Should the Soviets detect your departure, operation will be gravely compromised. And then during departure, we're to keep our radio mast up for any last-minute mission updates. As soon as you've rigged for dive and reach your dive point, submerge and proceed at best tactical speed to enter the Atlantic via the North Channel. So what kind of depths are we looking at here? I can't dive before then? Okay, whatever. I'll go with the mission. Yeah, so we'll be able to stay submerged this whole time and then go out here through here. And then make way for the Atlantic. It's very good. Um, I guess we got to go a little faster here, so let's try 10 knots. Yeah, we got a full load out of TLAMs right now. I think we should be able to go this fast on the surface here. Shouldn't be too too much of an issue. Is it? Can I not get it? Oh, okay, good. We can actually go a little faster. I think we could... Oh, uh, well, the platform reference should tell me how fast I can go on the surface. I just don't know because I never do it. I don't go. F I don't make it a point of going flank on the surface. And they don't even tell you what your surface speed is. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think I've gone like 15 knots on the surface before or something. I can just do like a good all ahead full or something like that. But uh, yeah, we need to get down there. Go 9 knots right now. It's still not really fast enough here. Let me try an all ahead all full ahead then. Oh and let's raise the radio mast. Raise the Might as well raise the ESM and, well, radar too. We raise are navigating out of a port right now. I don't want to crash into anything. And let's go up on the sail bridge then and do a little. Oh, yeah, see, exactly. A boat right there. Uh, mm -mm. that looks like that freaking minesweeper model from uh, what is it, Bastion Gambit? But I, I guess it's not. <laughs> what is that all the way over there? It looks like a house or something. Oh, I forget how much detail they put on these surface missions. It's always so much fun. Let's see what else we got here. Holy crap! Con, radar. I have a new contact. Bearing. Good God. <laughs> I've never seen so many Los Angeleses on the surface before. Well, that's the video screenshot right there, if I ever saw one. <laughs> Jesus, man. And they're all, like, really high in the water, too, which is odd. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess they're all, like, they're all 688s, and I'm the only 688i here, because, well, 688i is not even supposed to exist at this, at this point, I don't think. Uh, we got Trafalgar to return another channel here, make sure not to crash with him. And we're actually now going 17 knots. I think these. I think this is actually like a, a formation, if you will. Non navigator, mark the tour. And these guys are uh, following my lead. They'll go whatever speed I'm going. So yeah, I just want to make sure we get down to this d d dive point in time, and we uh, we're we're plenty fine to get down there now. Plenty fine for everyone to get down there, I think. So uh, yeah, we're about to take a turn here. What is this supposed to be? A sand down? Let's check it out on the platform reference. Never seen such a ship before. Yeah, it's a mine hunter from the UK. Very cool. I love the level of detail they put in these missions, man. It's really very cool. And now we're commencing a turn. Very fun. 
This is very cool. I don't think these cells behind me will commence a turn until whenever. What does all this plus stuff mean? Because it's like going down as you get closer out here. I don't know what that means. If anyone knows what that means, please tell me. I'm, I'm not really up to par on naval navigation or anything like that. And I would definitely be curious to know. But this is so cool. I'm leading a convoy of Los Angeleses. Okay, they're kicking it out wide then to stay behind me. Or they're doing a little station keeping or whatever. That's fine. It's all pretty like constant depth around here, so I don't worry about them running aground or something like that. But it is pretty shallow. Shallow for a sub, not shallow for a human. Yeah. He's going 12 knots. Um, I guess I don't really want to pass him, do I? Well, let's, uh... Here, just do standard then. Let's try this. Let's try this. But yeah, this is a very cool mission. And I've always wondered what fast lane looked like. I remember reading about it in the book. I always thought it was on the east coast here. But nope, I guess it's on the west coast. Very cool. This is really very cool. I'm having a good time. Well, I guess we don't have to be, you know, uh... What's our ETA now? Our ETA... Well, I just want this to be lined up because I'm picky like that. 55 minutes? That is fine, I think. Uh, we're probably gonna actually... There's probably gonna be a certain point where he like kicks it up, but I don't know. I'm not trying to get any of my subs caught on the surface here. But yeah, I just kind of want to take a look at the sights, you know. <laughs> Never been to Scotland before, man. <laughs> and I just really like to appreciate all the detail in this game because it really is unprecedented. It's very nice. If they could do, if they would ever do more campaigns, I would be fully in support of that. I've been really enjoying my time on this one. God, and this is still so cool! <laughs> but god, those things are so chunky and clunky. Mm, that's a nice lighthouse. <laughs> well, that's kind of just a peaceful change of pace after that really... Uh, kind of generally we've silted up the port main condenser. Speed will be limited until we can restore seawater flow to normal. Oh, damn it. Uh, we've got our um, feed water Con Navigator, recommend we increase speed to 12 knots. Very well, but our condenser is blocked with silt because I think I've gone too fast. I think that's why that happened. Shit. Well, that's no good. Oh, it's so cool that these guys are, like, following me, man. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> Got a little convoy. A convoy of Los Angeleses. Oh, how long is this going to take for this port main condenser to get unsilted. Yeah, what do you know? I, they only show those bubbles going out there that far just for... I think it's just a visual cue to let you know that you're cavitating in case you didn't get the memo. Because those bubbles collapse instantly. They don't live for any amount of time. It's like when you're boiling water and like right before the bubbles really start to roll it makes that weird noise. That's cavitation that you're hearing basically. Because the bubbles are just popping as soon as they leave their little superheated crevices in the bottom of the pot. They hit the temperature, they hit the main body temperature of the rest of the water and just instantly collapse. But uh, yeah, I guess we can just speed up time and wait for this to get unsilted or whatever. Man, that really is kind of a, a, a major drag. This minesweeper is pulling away from me. What's the mission status in here say? What do we got? Depart fast lane on detect, that's all we gotta do. Uh, I think we silted up its main condenser or whatever by going too fast, but damn, that really kind of blows. How long is it going to take to fix that? Is that listed in here? 30 minutes? Oh, shit. Well, crap. Uh, well, I don't have quick repair on, so it's going to take 30 minutes. And this is really not helping our time to get out to point alpha here. Oh, boy. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Let's see here. Two hours. Hmm. I don't know if we can make it after at a half hour. Well, um, well, we got like what? Um, fifteen, thirty minus seven. We still got like we got twenty minutes at seven knots. We're gonna get like. Oh God. I don't even know what kind of math I'm trying to do in my head right now, but I don't know if we can actually like finish this mission at this point now, dude. Because we just can't go fast enough. 
because this propeller is screwed because I got realistic repair times on. Yeah, I mean, we still got another, ugh, like 20 minutes of this of this propeller not being able to be used. Can I speed up at all here? Make turns for nine knots, maneuvering eye. No, that just slowed me down even more. Damn it. <laughs> ugh. All ahead standard. How am I? Here, just All ahead full. go as fast as you possibly can, even though the propeller is damaged here. We just All need to go as fast as we possibly can. Con, sonar, cavitating. Okay, well, we can get up to a little bit of speed here. So I guess we can do this. I don't know if they're going to, like, freak out at me for not... for having this condenser be clogged up and run it flank. I don't know if they've simulated that or not, but I guess we're going to find out soon enough here. But uh, we need to get out here, dude. What's our ETA? An hour? See, that's not even like. That's not. That's no good right now, man. That's too late. We gotta get this, uh. Well, I guess right now we're kinda making up for lost time, so once it comes back in about 10 minutes here, then we can, uh, really juice it up and try and catch up for this lost time here. I wanna see this Trafalgar over here. Uh. Hello. There you are. Well, let's slow down and get a better look at you for a second here. Let me see you, Luke, with my own eyes. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm really just enjoying this right now, man. This is really very fun. Ah, oh, just the level of detail in these missions, man. Yeah, the mi we should be like right up there behind the minesweeper. We should be further ahead and good to go. But I think we'll be fine at this point. As soon as the uh, as soon as the propeller is done being fixed or whatever, we can uh keep pressing on here at maximum speed and really try and get out here well do I want to uh, yeah I guess I'll have that LA thing I, th I think this mission will only take one video honestly this is really I don't think it's gonna be that long of a mission and uh, yeah we're still waiting for the prop to get a, a where's your new contact 158 I guess it's down here no it's not what am I thinking 158 what are you thinking dude I was picking up this uh, ship all the way down here. Very well. All right, this uh, this prop is almost done, and then as soon as it's finished repairing, we're gonna be juicing it up here to flank because I'm already set for flank, so we'll get another six knots of speed. Hopefully, that'll be enough to reach this diving point in time. Uh, any second now, we'll be getting propulsion back online. And here we go. Very good. Now we're uh, kicking it into high gear. LA's are keeping up station on me. Can they even go as fast as I am on the surface? I don't know. What's our ETA to the die point? 28 minutes. Oh, that's going to be cutting it very close. Very close indeed. Well, we don't have to dive as soon as we get, we can like do it right here. That might, mm, you know, chop off like a little minute, you know, like technicality. <laughs> but I think they'll all they'll all dive after I dive, I think. I'm not sure how that works with like a a fleet underwater, but this is about to be really cool. So like, okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought it went. It goes up this way. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I'm gonna make an, an ass of myself. So <laughs> I was like just about to pronounce that, and I decided not to, because it looks like I should be pronouncing. I'm not even getting into it. Not even getting into it, man. But uh, yeah, as soon as I as as soon as I cross this, I'm diving the boat, and I think all the LAs behind me will dive at the same time too. So we should be able to make it. 26 minutes. That's, yeah, we'll be able to make it. It'll be cutting a little close, but we shall make it. All right, let's uh, just time lapse here. It'll take about two minutes to get there. Oh, this is a very cool mission. Very cool mission indeed. I like it. I, they kind of have, you know, like these departures from the action, you know, just some, some breather missions here. It's nice. I like it. It's cool. Very cool indeed. We haven't gotten any updates on this mission yet. Really? Yeah. Ah, once again, the ESM thing wasn't going on. I guess I don't really need an ESM up, do I? No, not really. I'll keep the radio up, though. But yeah, we're making for open water. Uh, no, they're not really particularly keeping up. They're going three knots slower than I am. I guess that's as fast as they can go on the surface, but... You know what? That's fine. All this water's deep enough here to dive in. I don't particularly know why the habit's going out to this point to dive. I guess it's just something I don't understand, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Minesweeper is turned back. Or is turning back. Let's uh, check around on the binocs here. 
Where is the minesweeper? Where where am I going? Here we go. Thanks for the escort, lad. Oh yeah, a pint. Very good. Yep, we're still pressing on here. It looks kind of bright out for three in the morning almost, doesn't it? Well, I guess we are really far north. Does it really start getting this bright this far north in, like, Scotland? If you're from the UK, let me know. Because I'm very curious to know that. I guess this is during summer. I guess the, the days during summer in the UK are very long compared to the US. But yeah, let's just keep, keep speeding up time here. Yeah, they're falling behind a little bit, but it's not like it's not too big a deal. Okay, they're actually going a little faster now. That's good. Yeah, I remember them going 17 hours before, I think. But yeah, we'll make this point in time. 14 minutes to go. Plenty of time. Plenty of time indeed. And we'll have to make sure we slow down to rig for dive so we don't kill all our masts. And I have to make sure to lower that radar mast before I get down there, too. But right now it doesn't look like there's anyone else out here that's going to be getting in our way. On diving, officer. The boat is rigged for dive. All right, very good. That means we can dive anytime we want to, but it says we have to wait till we get to point alpha here. Doo -doo -doo. As soon as you rig for dive and have reached point dive and have reached your dive point, so that's an and condition there. We've only hit one of those so far, so we still got to keep going. But yeah, as soon as I like. Get right over that sliver of line. I'm I'm diving here, going to periscope depth. Yeah. Well, keep speeding up time, man. No one wants to see this crap. <laughs> very good. Oh, it's very very pretty country around here. <laughs> it's a video game, man. I don't know. I'm enjoying myself. I am. Okay, we'll be here very shortly, and then we'll be commencing the dive. My subs are somewhat keep out. They'll they'll catch up once I get down there, so that's fine. All right, we are just about there. Let us come out of our speed run now, and let's secure all the masts. Well, I'll just do this. Mass. We have arrived at point alpha. Lower all, and then let's raise the radio. Submerge the ship. Submerge the ship. Dive after. Submerge the ship. Submerge the ship. Dive I. Chief of the watch on the one MC. Pass the word. Dive, dive. Sound two blasts of the dive alarm. Pass the word. Dive, dive. Dive, dive. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> dive, dive. Oh my God, I'm I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> that is too awesome, man. Dive the ship. Oh. I'm having so much All fun. Tank vents are shut. Roger that. Roger that. Who says roger that in the Navy? Let's raise the scope. Make sure we got good on the dive here. Let's check out our subs behind us. Are they diving? It appears that they are. Very good. Very cool. Very cool. I'm very. This mission is awesome. Very well. So it looks like we are down here indeed. Very cool. Yep, these guys are diving all right. Awesome. They'll probably be catching up with me here. And uh, yeah, we made the dive point. Very good. All right, best tactical speed. Let's go all ahead 12 knots. Uh, maintain. We'll maintain some spherical acuity on the sonar here, and uh, we'll be uh, making our way out of this harbor here. So, what what kind of depth are we shooting for? Well, let's start setting some waypoints here. Let's set some waypoints. Let's go like this. And let's go like here, and then here. Well, that's good for now. Let's see, if we set at five knots, we'll be getting there in like hours. So. We'll be on 12 knots here. It's still going to take a, a decent chunk of time to get there at 12 knots. It's still going to take 6 hours. So maybe we'll go a little faster. I'm not sure. Con, sonar, cavitating. I'm cavitating at 12 knots. Well, I guess we are a little, a little shallow here. So let's go down to 100 feet. Uh, yeah, I wanted to see what kind of depths we're going to be seeing this whole way out. I think 100 is fine. Well, I might go a little deeper. And then we can uh, come a little shallower up at this point here. But uh, yeah, we'll be able to get pretty deep in the later parts, and we might we might kick it up a little higher there. But yeah, this is good for now. Let's just speed up time then. Is it gonna stop cavitating? One, yeah, so there you go. No longer 
Didn't realize it got have a cavitate going 12 knots to the surface. Hmm. I guess that pressure really makes a difference after a while there. Okay, it's, the link is going to get screwy here really quickly because these guys are going to look like they're passing me. So I guess I might as well just drop these contacts then. Yeah, that's fine. I know they're back there and they'll be fine. I guess I just want to make sure they don't end up maneuvering into like land or something like that. But we should be good here. All right. Okay, good. You and the other subs have successfully departed fast line without being detected. You were able to submerge before the Soviet reconnaissance satellite passed overhead. Operation Doolittle is off to a good start. That's a homage to World War II there. So uh, yeah, this mission is over. I'm actually just going to tack this on to the, the previous mission. This is a I was originally going to do a separate video because I thought we were actually going to have to go all the way out here, but I'm glad they're not making us do that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good night.